All right, this is a just a uh, quick video. I'm just demonstrating how the Mac Pro from 2010 is actually faster than my M1 when rendering this project in Apple Motion. So I'm gonna have to hit the inner keys. I can't hit them at the same time, but I can hit them pretty close. So let's see, I'm gonna hit the M1 first. We can see that this one's going, and this one is already way ahead. However, this is drawing, what, 12 watts of power? I mean, I'm not running it on the power, I'm running it on the battery. You can see this is like miles ahead of the M1. And the GPU fan is spun up quite a bit. This we're only using 40%. This we're maxed out. So this is really uh, interesting how Apple Silicon really doesn't beat, in this case at least, the Radeon Pro 5500 that's in the Mac Pro. Uh, the M1, it's not warm yet, although it is sitting at like 45 degrees. This one sitting at 47 CPU wise, but this is an SOC. So the GPU, for some reason, the GPU temperatures can't be read with this software, but probably hitting 90 degrees. I mean, the fan is probably at maximum RPM by this point. This card really, it, get, it overheats a lot, um, which is kind of annoying, but we can see that this Mac Pro is just about to finish this up. This is just a 10 second project. That's done, and the M1 is about halfway done. So the, the M1, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. The M1 is not as fast as the Mac Pro from mid 2010.